guys are. <laughs> Go ahead, Mon. Want to say it? I'm trying. Go ahead. I can't do it anymore. Speak up. Yeah, you, can do it. you can do it. You can do it. Okay. You just. I don't have it. Project. <laughs> let's let's do a little cheer for Mon. Ready? <laughs> Go, Mon. Go Mod, go Mod, go Mod, go Mod. Hey guys, welcome to Table Talk. This is where we talk about your topics. You can get them in on Twitter, use the hashtag Table Talk, or on Reddit, uh, uh, slash, uh, slash, um, source fed. Yeah! yeah. yeah. We've got some amazing guests at the table here. They're doing an amazing show. We've got PJ and we've got Craig, and it's Crab Sticks. Chris. It's Chris. Craig, Craig, I did it! I just did it! Oh, you said Craig, even though we were talking about Craig! It. You said it. You wow. have to keep your head in that bucket, Mod. We were just joking about this before I we started. Was joking you, about you, it. You legit said it. I was like, "What's the chance that I'm going to be like his name's Chris?" You just made it on, <laughs> on his list. <laughs> I've been here for like two hours. List. Yeah. I'm so God, sorry, is... Craig. <laughs> and on live national TV as well. You can call her Mill for a Mog. Or... <laughs> <laughs> You know what, even if you say mog in your accent, it'll still sound mog. really, mog. Mog. really moggy. nearly delicious. Jeez, it's, it's a mog. bit moggy in here, isn't it? It's a little bit moggy. Uh, guys, Sorry. so we have uh, Chris, Chris and PJ here. There's crab. Crab sticks. But then, so if it's like Chris and then crab, and it's like it automatically becomes crab. You're backpedaling. You're back yeah, yeah. And also, you're going way deep. You've dug <laughs> that hole and you you're cannot really get out. Well. Yeah, there's no rope for you. Yeah. Okay, so these uh, amazing gentlemen uh, are working on a very fantastic looking show called Oscar's Hotel. Mm. I'm excited. I like you guys know I'm excited about this show. Like we were talking on the set because yeah. I'm in the show as well, guys. Yeah. Uh, Manny the Mantis, Manny the Praying Mantis. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm like a groundskeeper guy, and that was really fun. They covered me in green makeup, and we should have got you dressed up for this. I know. Yeah. In the show, where's the makeup people? Let's bring them in. It's a big Matt. job. Matt, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. No, it's okay. Matt. It's okay. There we go. Good work, buddy. Can you make him a mantis? <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. So the concept of Oscar's Hotel, there is a teaser. There's a trailer that's come out, and it kind of shows all these amazing guests that you get in. I want to talk about those guys too. But the premise of Oscar's Hotel is. Uh, so it's a hotel yes. full of creatures, full yes. of strange, fantastical creatures. Yes. And the premise of the show is that uh, Oscar who is Oliver's uncle, Oliver played by... Craig. Uh, Craig, from, from Crab Sticks. Craig's I, I from prefer Craig. Craig now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You look like a Craig. Do you have a middle name? Uh, James. James. Craig CJ. James. CJ. CJ, CJ, PJ, there DJ. Yay. We did it, guys. There's too many Js. We've done it. Wasn't that all before they started recording? Hmm? Was it was. Wait, maybe it was. Hey, have you guys ever heard of Alt-J? <laughs> oh. The band? Yeah. 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 CJ? PJ? It's a shame they're not here. <laughs> You've just joined me in this hole. I sure have. <laughs> it's real deep. Kind of How is it down there? It's so deep and Kinda awful. Kind of cozy. So, but not, as, not, uh. and not anywhere near as awful as, uh, no, I'm just Oscar's kidding. we got to stop bringing it. No, Oscar's Hotel. <laughs> Bring it back to Oscar's Hotel. No, Oscar's Hotel is... <laughs> That was masterful. Perfect segue. <laughs> so tell us about so these fantastical creatures. Mm -hmm. Can you give us like an idea of what kind of creatures we're talking about here? Totally. We have like giant fishmen. Yes. We have uh, octopus chefs. We have the queen bee. Uh, we have uh, the hermit crab who lives in the cave. We got so many different kind of creatures, and they all come to stay at the hotel. Uh, and then the week that Oscar leaves. Oliver here, yeah. who was played by Chris, is left to pick up the pieces and manage the hotel, and he's never done anything of this scale ever before. Mm. So I believe in you. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm human in it as well. So you I'm are like a the human. only human. Right, right, right. Was that kind of fun, or did you get jealous seeing everyone else get completely done over with like makeup and mm. wings and? Not really, because the makeup's kind of a long. <laughs> it sure like, is. Like my costume was just. A jacket. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got so. it easy. You got the easy job. But yeah, yeah, I was just a, a couple of times. But then I did get to turn into a fly man. Yeah, there's an episode <laughs> like, like a Jeff Goldblum style fly <gasps> that's, transformation that's over cool. the episode. Yeah, that is. I, I I love that. That is my favorite uh, variation of Oliver. That the episode where he <laughs> becomes Oliver. more fly and disgusting like. And that's it's, great. It's, it's a very very cool episode. And so uh, yeah, so yeah. Oliver has to take care of the hotel yep. for a week. And we see his crazy adventures uh, in trying to maintain that crazy place. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good fun. So, yeah, we, we got to talk about the who's on the show. Yeah, let's yeah. name drop the who's it. Who's who. Okay. Just throw these names Drop out. those names. Good. Okay, well, let's start with uh, the giant fishmen I was talking about. Uh, we've got these uh, two repossession fish voiced by Patrick Stewart and Alfred Molina. Oh, which is a good drop. Be still mm -hmm. my heart. Yeah, uh, that was fun. Uh, and then yeah. we've got... Um, 
the Octochef, the crazy purple Octochef played by Mamrie Hart. Yeah! And we have uh, Manny the Mantis, as we said, played by Steve Zaragoza. Now, Heard I saw him. the makeup Heard of him. that yeah. you had on, and yeah. you are virtually unrecognizable, except your beard is yeah. still Yeah, but you know much. what I loved about it? The makeup people, who were amazing, were like talking about how like they were going to utilize my beard as like a negative space yeah. for the Mantis, and so <gasps> it looks almost as if my face kind of goes into this long neck down yeah. into my jumpsuit that I had mm -hmm. to wear. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like my beard's not there at all, you it's know? It's impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. I told the makeup people, I said, uh, I really want to try and capture something about Steve still in there because we're going to cover him pretty heavily in, in makeup. So let's try and use the beard somehow and try to give him some glasses to kind of to give him. There you go. And so we've got those, we've got so, some crazy glasses like that. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I got like some antenna or antenna. Yeah. Did you do a voice? Or... I, I did. I Well, you know, I tried a couple of different things, and then they were like, you know what? Take us through the process. Well, I was doing, like, I was trying to come up with, like, a cool voice or whatever, and then PJ was like, you got to do your voice. Like, yeah. your voice is, that's <laughs> you. Shut it down. Like, you got to, and I was like, but I felt so much better. But I don't have a voice. <laughs> what are what you, you talking about? Like, <laughs> yeah. Do the other voice. Do the other voice. <laughs> <laughs> but I was so actually relieved that you were like, just do your normal voice yeah. because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to like handle some kind of weird accent or sure. something. I felt like I was gonna screw up, and I just wanted to do weird your accents are a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ugh, who likes weird accents? Mm. Ooh, awkward. This is tense. Is a, is a awkward. The palpitation. Yeah. So I and also you uh, you've got Grace Helbig in the show too. Grace uh, Helbig, yeah, which is super exciting she's, stuff. She's playing a hermit crab, a big old <laughs> hermit crab, which was re very fun. Right, and that was a fun day on the set. Uh, fun, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fun was, doesn't even begin to describe. It was a very cramped day. We were out uh, in this little cave all day shooting in this little basement that we dressed to be like a cave, and it was hot. It was cramped. Uh, but yeah, Grace did an amazing job uh, being in that crazy crab suit and maintaining the character in that cramped little cave. And sanity mm -hmm. as well. And sanity. <laughs> yeah. How does that conversation go down? Hey, Gracie, yeah, yeah, no, I've been good, I've been good. Listen, you wanna be a crab? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I'm a hermit. Hermit crab, like a day. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> much, right. that was the comment. That's exactly yeah. what it was. And I'm sure she, she was, was like, overjoyed. Sure. Yeah. 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 Grace is always down for stuff, so I'm sure she down was like, clown. I'm already there, I'm in the costume now. Yeah. I'll be there in a second. Pretty I saw much, a flash yeah. that Joe and Elliot, uh, the source fed, uh, that one, the mm. alumni? The alumnus. <laughs> Nurse? I'll never get that. Well, no, it's alumni, <laughs> but I like to they say alumnus. They are in the alumni, alumni. Yeah. they are alumnus. alumnus. Does anyone say alumnus? I say alumni. Alumni, yeah. but you what, can't alumnus. say alumnus. Yeah. Alumnus. <laughs> alumnus. Do you love this? I love it. Alumnus. I'm part of my uh, university alumni, and what? And I misread it and thought I was part of my university uh, Illuminati. And I was like, <laughs> whoa, what is going on? And then I properly read right. it. I'm not even joking. And I, you know, that was an embarrassing <laughs> moment for me. Everyone you thinks thought... that my Triforce is an Illuminati symbol. <sighs> It's and not I, though, right? It's, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a, tri a triforce. Tri it's a triforce. Mm -hmm. But I like mm. to think that if someone thinks that it is, I'm not going to correct them. No, just, let, just them, have some yeah. fun with it. let them think what they will. But I love that you were like, "This is this is how you join." Like, this is how you join the Illuminati. Yeah. It's a school <laughs> thing. Now yeah. I get it. <laughs> No, education. <laughs> so, and I want to talk. You guys have to talk about the hotel, the sure. physical location. Yeah, where is it? What's it all about? Oh, it looks like it's like stories and stories high. Yeah. It totally is. So, we found this uh, incredible place in in Pasadena, here in Los Angeles, and uh, we found this place called Castle Green. And it's just this incredible. It used to be a hotel, and now it's just a place where people uh, live. And it's it's great. It's got this really old kind of feel to it, but it's got these amazing marble walls and large staircases so and nice. high ceilings. And you know, when I first walked in there, I, I was just like, "This is it. This is Oscar's hotel. This is the place. This this has to be it." And That's then awesome. and we we made it work and we shot there. And yeah, it was great. And and Tim Burton used to live there. Yeah, he did. Whoa! Yeah, what? He, this place sounds a little haunted. It, well, like, he did. A, he filmed a bit of Beetlejuice. Be there. Yeah, he filmed some Beetlejuice there. Yeah. So Are think, you serious? I think I he went serious. to check it out and was like, "I'm gonna live here because yeah. it is, is so, so cinematic." Weird. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, that's so cool. Do it's you guys so feel Burton. like? People are gonna go like kind of like in the Breaking Bad house. Like yeah. people go there and they throw the pizza Pieces, on the roof. Yeah. They, like, There's go a pizza on top of the hotel, isn't it? Is there? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh Is yeah. There a pizza? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it must be a movie thing. Do yeah. you feel like people <laughs> are going to after watching the series, they're gonna go and bother everyone in the hotel or in the in the building and go take pictures we, and be like, this is the place, this uh, is it. We hope so. Because <laughs> that means not. it's really good. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, yes, but I also hope that those poor residents in there <laughs> who already had enough from us being in there with giant octopus costumes. <laughs> we want season two. Yeah, they, yeah, so I mean, 
I hope it has that kind of level of like kind of notoriety, but like not <laughs> exactly. I don't want people bashing down the doors or anything. Sure, sure. Where's sure. Oscar? <laughs> like, <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> Why isn't he here? I do yeah. remember that day you scared that old lady with because the two massive fish were in oh, the yeah. <laughs> and she just had a little dog and she yeah. was terrified. She was terrified. Oh, so yeah. she had no idea what was going no. on. Yeah, was... I think a lot of the residents, they were passing in and out just being like, this is not a normal day at the <laughs> Castle <of> Green. <laughs> <laughs> giant awesome. fish man. But that's yeah. just what it's like in LA. Like you never know, you might see <laughs> yeah. a giant yeah. fish man mm-hmm. down the street. They're everywhere. <laughs> they are everywhere. <laughs> You've seen them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, this is very exciting stuff and Oscars Hotel comes out September 15th. That's the one, yeah. That's the one. That's this, year? Right. this year? This year. This year, Ooh. yeah, and yeah. I think that if I'm if my calculations are correct, that is this week, which is very exciting. All right, so let's do some table talking, yeah. and since you guys are our guests, I would love for either you or you Dig to in. pick out the first topic. Chris, you won our game of Super Fight earlier, so oh, yeah. I am gonna go first. <laughs> <laughs> so just read out the whole damn thing, tell us right. who it's from, and then uh, we'll we'll get going. Okay, <laughs> oh. I love the name. Uh, okay, so. Films and shit asks, <laughs> what is the weirdest thing you ate as a kid? And that is films and shit. <laughs> Thank you, films and shit. Yeah. Uh, I love your reviews. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he reviews shit and films. <laughs> yeah. I distinctly remember a time in my life, and I would have been about five, and there was just an ant crawling along the table, and I went, nope, oh. nope, nope, nope. I had to try. You just had to had try. Had to try. It's very like, you know, bit, very... Kind of spicy, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, how do you know? Well, you know. I think I swallowed an ant this morning. Um, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I, I tweeted this morning saying I think I swallowed an ant because uh, I was drinking a drink and I, and I it was some apple juice and I looked down as it was going like down and I just saw this little ant go down. I was like, well, I've committed now. There's no. I just you can't let, stop. Let him go. So there's probably an ant in here right now. I didn't. Know that, that was the last thing it ever saw. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I just thought of something really sad. I saw Ant Man recently. And what <laughs> if he gets like lost in the woods or something and he's really hungry and he just he just commands them into his mouth oh, to he stay could. alive. He sure could. Yeah. Because he would have to do that. <gasps> also, you know what I was oh. thinking? Did you guys all see it? I have not seen it yet. I okay, have not. so <laughs> no spoilers, but I will say, isn't he basically like like he's enslaving these poor mm-hmm. ants? He's like they're like helping him, but he's really just forcing them to do what he yeah. wants. Speciesism. It yeah. kind of is. I hope someone stands up for the ants and does yeah. a little protest about ants. Maybe I'm not the best Maybe. person to talk to about. No, probably not. Yeah. Tiny little. We're not protest. on the committee. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the tiniest protest yeah. ever. <laughs> these little megaphones. <laughs> so the thing them. you guys ate. As a kid? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Let's, um, How about as an adult? Let's go uh, there. Well, I mean, an ant. Um, <laughs> lots of ants. Has anyone else eaten an ant? Or? I've eaten an ant, um, and I know they're spicy. Yeah, it's weird. Cool. Don't they're you not eat, great. like, eight ants a night or something? That's spiders. Well, I think that's a myth. Oh, oh yeah, they do say that Mythical spiders. Mythical spiders? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. They've got horns and wings. And <laughs> yeah. No, they do say you eat like so many spiders in a year yeah. or something mm-hmm. like that. It's terrifying. That but it's more if you're in that Australia. Just to scare people. Yeah. I'm I, not going to Australia. Protein. Yeah, you've got some super spiders in uh, Australia, right? Uh, yeah. Like, have you seen them with your own eyes, the super spiders? <laughs> Super yes. spider <laughs> with the cape and everything, <laughs> straight into your mouth. <laughs> no. With his, like, hands. <laughs> Have you seen them though, the big giant spiders? Um, they've got the spiders that are like the size of my hand. I told oh, you the story. Remember that story that I told you? I can't you? do it. The raining. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The... That's right. That's right. No, I'm done. I can't do this. <laughs> All right. I thought uh, of something. Yes, I thought of something actually. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger in school, I used to do this thing where I was. I used to be a little bit of the class clown. Oh, oh I was that person. <sighs> yeah. And I used to eat glue. Uh, <laughs> like Coco the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> what? And it wasn't like uh, sticks of glue, it was like pasty glue. It was the, mm-hmm. the watery kind of pasty glue. Oh, the clag glue? Yeah, yeah. And Is I, it like out of a little container or was it like the squeezable out of a sque- bottle? Squeezable out of <laughs> okay, a bottle, yeah. And I was just like, that's squeeze the good it. Stuff, yeah, right? I would just squeeze it down into my throat, and because because it made people laugh, <laughs> and it made me laugh, and and so I kept doing it, and then like maybe an hour later, Uh-oh. I just like had these terrible <laughs> stomach pains, and I just had to go home because, Uh-oh. and like the most embarrassing thing was when they said like, oh, what's wrong with you? Why did you have to go home? I had to tell them I've been eating glue, <laughs> and it oh, was no. so sad. But they like oh. me now. Yeah, but they, yeah, and they're like, come on, do the glue thing, man. Yeah. Or you're the glue. Be a friend. I became the glue guy. You're the glue guy. The glue guy. Do the glue thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't stop, you'd still be doing it now. Yeah. yeah. I had to 
draw a line in yeah. the glue. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, there's a lot of respectable comedians that take that in, into the professional realm, beating glue. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> they probably. go on the road with it. I remember, what's that series where it's like, it's about the people that just eat things. And I remember there was like a oh, caption that yeah. was like, oh, I first ate the family car seat when I was five. What? Mm. Yeah, like, yeah. There, it, that's a real thing. Because it's stuffing inside. It's really Moorish. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. How do you yeah. know? Because I was on that show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I recognize those yeah. two. Yeah. I'm like the car you? kid. I'm the car kid. What you get into? No. It is. <laughs> that is bizarre. It's but so there's like weird. someone that's like, oh, yeah, I'll just... They nibble on wood. <laughs> there was someone who eats the dryer, the dryer things. lint. No, no, no. Like the, like the, what are the, the softener, the fabric softener mm. that you put in the, in the dryer. They like eat those. Ooh, That's that weird stuff. Boys. Really weird things. No. I don't know what the weirdest thing I ate was. Did you eat every crayons or play doh? Yeah, the Play-Doh I did all that stuff. Nice whatever. Yeah. Kids, pl that's child's play, eating crayons and stuff. Just wasn't the question as, as, as a, a kid. kid yeah. yeah, but like that's not the weirdest thing I had as a kid for sure. I'm going that's disturbing. My dad was a farmer and he gave me some milk once and he, he insisted it was okay, uh -oh. but it was kind of um, pink because sometimes cows bleed internally and, but he insisted that it was fine because it was, it was, it's actually not a bad thing. Oh but no, but maybe I, it was, I, I but it was fine. Probably. Blood but, milk? Well, it, apparently it's fine, but I mean, it's, it's blood is. milk. Oh. I never knew that. <laughs> You never told me. <laughs> I don't tell a lot of people. No. Well, how, many, you, how, no. how many does this that go out free, to? Man, is going, my mom will watch this. A couple hundred, maybe. Oh, yeah. before we move on, you, sir, uh, get to launch the topic into the camera lens uh, okay. and, and break every rule how often of being on a work? set. Oh. I mean, we have like a little tally of who's been able to hit the lens. Okay. Ooh, and Jesus. I, oh, what are you doing? Well, hold on. Wait, 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 you want to scrunch it. You definitely yeah. want to scrunch it or fold it. <laughs> That's okay. It that gives it more aerodynamic. Gotcha. Like, Thanks. It's like Thank a catapult. Thanks for the tip, guys. Aer go. Aerodynamic. Right. Aerodynamic. <laughs> All right. Here we go. You're going from the top. Films and shit coming at you. Why? Bye. <laughs> DJ right on the shoulder. Oh, I didn't even see it. PJ hit D or DJ hit PJ. PJ hit DJ. DJ hit DJ. CJ. All right. Uh, <laughs> CJ. Chris, get right in there and pull out a topic, my man. Ooh. Ooh, I love that mix. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even hail. Uh, That's Evan. <laughs> oh, Evan. No, I did it's like even. that voice though. Even Hale. Can you read the whole thing like that? What was the most? What was the most scared you've ever been? The most. No, I get scared, scared about everything. Everything always. Really? I really? get so scared. I am. Le pousse. You do I'm get like scared. So scared. Like, yeah. and it's all in my head. It doesn't even matter. If someone's like, "Whoa, who's behind the that?" And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to come In broad daylight. <laughs> <laughs> you have a serious problem. I think mm. you do, Maud. No, that's understandable. Talk? That's totally understandable. It sure is. It's real. I'm trying to think of what's what. Am, what have I? Been, when have I been most scared? I'm not scared of anything. No, I mean, I actually, really, you're not scared. Really? Of I'm scared, scared of anything. So many you scared of children? Uh, tiny to tiny ones? No, I okay. love kids. Okay, I'm not scared of kids. Okay, are you scared of the dark? No. What about wolves? I feel I feel better in the dark. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. You're like the yin to the yang happening here. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Are you afraid Which of one am I? Yang or yang? Is it yang? Whatever you're less scared of. Yang. I think yang's the... Uh, Back one. Are you afraid of knives? Coming at me or in a drawer? Well, just like... <laughs> are you scared of anything supernatural? There you go. Do you believe in ghosts? I've not seen a ghost. I'm open to ghosts, but I've not seen a ghost. Mm. So I... Who... Have you seen a ghost? No. Have you seen a ghost? Me? Yeah. I... In my dreams, I see ghosts, okay. uh, but you not seen a ghost? real ghosts. I, I've never oh, seen cool. a ghost, but I've experienced supernatural things before. <gasps> or really? what can only, things that can scared? only be described as supernatural. Oh, yes. Like what, what happened? Well, I, I've told the story before, but I'll try, I'll try to summarize it. I was staying at my friend's house overnight, and his room is full of like all these kind of a collectibles and like horror themed things, like Why? masks and like props and stuff. Oh. I don't know. It's cool though. And he had this like big Frankenstein doll mm -hmm. that like was up against this like cabinet or drawer or something, and it was very far away from him and yeah. very far away from me. So it's not like at arm's length to like knock over mm -hmm. or something. So you see where I'm going with this. Yeah. So we were 
falling asleep. He's dead asleep, from what I can only assume. I'm laying there, kind of freaked out. Because you know when you stay the night at a friend's place, you're kind of like, I'm in a weird place. I'm weary about where I'm at. Not even that, but at sleepovers, they used to do this thing when it's like nighttime and you turn all the lights off and then you stare at the faces. They go, yeah. they morph. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, like I know. That. I know that. I don't like that. I, I was going to be alone then. And Ooh, I was I'm like, not doing that. Yeah. yeah, that's scary. Yeah. yeah. So it's just your mind playing tricks on you in the dark. So yeah. Of... That happens. To, so I've got this uh, this Majora's mask on my wall, and like the more I stare on it, at like when I'm when oh. I'm at night, it gets freaky. And yeah, also, I don't like that. I've got this thing. I've got like LED uh, like colored lighting in my room, and you yeah. can change the colors. And if you change like the reds and the blues and the greens, and you keep changing it, the face keeps changing. Like the colors oh. of the face keep changing. Whoa! I don't it's, like that. It's super freaky. Yeah, I don't like that. Super that mask freaky. would come down. Yeah, <laughs> just fly at you, and tendrils would. Fling yeah, I don't out. want it. I would be like, time to put the mask in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't care how much. Time of a to Zelda burn thing. the mask. Yeah, burn it. <laughs> the Frankenstein doll. So here's what happened. I'm falling asleep, and then, slam. The Frankenstein doll hits the ground. Yeah. And I'm like, <gasps> I get up and I like, I'm like, Blake, 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 wake up, Blake. And he's like, what, what, what's going on, Did man? You say Blake up? I mean... Blake up, Blake up. <laughs> yeah. And then he turns on the light and he's like, what, man? What's going on? I'm like, the Frank, look at the Frankenstein. It's on the floor. What is it? What is this? And he's like, I don't, I don't know what. He's like, oh, the Frankenstein doll fall. And he's like, yeah, that's the ghost, the little girl that lives in this place. So oh, like, no big deal. Okay. No big deal. No yeah. Now go back to sleep. She just likes the toys here. Good night. And I'm like. What? Okay, not, what? To, not to go all like Sherlock on it, but it's obviously if your friend is in a room full of horror stuff, <laughs> I mean he's a fan that's of it. He's into it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why he was so nonchalant about it because yeah. he's like, yeah, there's a little girl. Horror fans are always little nonchalant, girl right? I just, I know, but a little girl, there, to me, there's nothing creepier than a little girl Yeah, ghost. little girl She's ghost. singing a nursery rhyme. Oh, and, and they're wet. Yeah, and they're wet, and they're like, their clothes are all 1800s, yeah. and like, you know, they're holding that like a little girl. That was the scariest doll. century. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you scared of it, though? Am I scared of the 1800s? I think I am. There it is! The 1800s, he found it! Yeah. I don't come across it a lot, but when I do, I do. How often is the 1800s brought up to you, sir? Oddly a lot. I think it's drawn to me. Yeah. I love it. All right, launch that damn thing out of here, will you? And let's get at least one more topic going. Oh, you're just trying to get a feel for of, it? Yeah. Look yeah. at you taking it. I like it, Chris. You're taking it seriously? Oh, I see. I see, yeah. Feel good about it? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Chris. Yeah, no, <sighs> All right, let's go with this one here from us uh, from Reddit. Uh, Schmurgler Burglar. Schmurgler Burglar. Schmurgler Burglar <laughs> asks, <laughs> if you could have any superhero as a best friend, who would it be and why? <gasps> You're my best friend. <laughs> Who do I want to sing that to? You're making and we're holding me live. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Iron Man's got a lot of cash. Yeah, he does. And sure. Kind of <laughs> was that, is that what, it, what it's all about? I mean, well, Batman he has that, does like, too. He's got all the party invites. Sure, that's true. He's got the true. big house that you could crash at. You can have a chat with Jarvis when he's away doing Iron Man Yeah, things. it's always a VIP sitch with Iron Man. Ooh. Um. Oh, it's okay. I didn't want to choose a top pick of machine anyway. Or oh, you can choose a topic real quick if we can get through this topic real quick. Well, let's decide then. Who let's do we decide. want as a friend? Um, so you're saying Iron Man, right? Yes. Tony Stark. I'll just say the first thing. Uh, the Dr. Manhattan guy from Watchmen. Oh, cool! Because he's naked? Because it's the <laughs> blue cock. <laughs> the big blue penis. The big blue cock. <laughs> the big, it is the blue cock. Yeah. You know what's funny? It's a nub. Let's, you know. I'll tell you something about that blue cock if you want to know. Still yeah, yeah. please when do. I worked at, when I worked at Sony Imageworks, uh, they, <laughs> d they did all the effects for the uh, the... The Watchmen From movie, the yep. and and no. when they were doing Doctor Manhattan, <laughs> there was like, should we show the penis? Should we not? And they decided, yeah, Zack Snyder really wanted to have the cock there because it's part of the comic, and that's mm -hmm. how you do it. And so the animators, who were friends of mine, had to like do extensive research on cock physics. <laughs> so they had like a nude model. In. <laughs> Here we go. No, they had like a nude More model in, needed. and they took him into the like the big sound stage. Jump higher. Yeah, and they had a nude model like do like wow. struts and jumps and yeah, runs. Yeah, we need and, to get them physics. Yeah, yeah. And they put the little like the little like uh, the, the what do they call those little balls like the, the like the CGI yeah. like oh face yeah the, the, like the, the tracking, the tracking balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they put the tracking oh, balls. Two balls on his balls. Hey, how does work today? You know. 
I'm a dick out. Yeah. Wow. Just had my dick out. I mean, for the model, it was probably less awkward for the model because the mm -hmm. model probably does shit like that all the time. But this, yeah. this was like. Why do you put that on your resume? That's right. Cock model. Top. Yeah. I was Doctor Manhattan's penis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing to be afraid of here. Anyway, all right. So Dr. Manhattan's your best friend. Good yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Never yeah, because he's like God, basically. He can yeah. like. And also, it's not to do with his penis. Of course no, not. No, of course it's not. I want to hang out with him. <laughs> Grateful for the clarity. Yeah. I'd be, I talk to him like that all the time. Hey, best friend. Yeah. <laughs> How about some pants? We're talking dude. about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to the club. You want to put some on today? Yeah. Or? Mm -hmm. But also, he exactly. had like sweet teleportation skills, so he can like teleport you anywhere. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that cock. There it is. And the cock. And it comes out. There it is. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was it. That was what it all boiled down to, wasn't it? At least we chipped away at it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess my, I mean, it's a probably a pretty generic one, but I, I would just say Batman because like he sure. is, he is pretty cool. He's got all these gadgets. He's, he's a star of a bunch of different games. He's got a lot going for him. And I mean, it's ma mainly the gadgets though. Yeah. Like, because he would you, not let you touch them. Well, mm. if he's my best friend, I'd like, like to hope he would. I mean, would. that's true. I mean, he would probably let you hang out in the Batcave. Yeah. And he'd take a ride in the Batmobile. Yeah. And then, again, like, when he's out doing Bat things, I would hang out with Alfred and just kind of... And... So basically, you're Dick. Grayson. Oh, I see. Dick Grayson. <laughs> Bringing it back around. <laughs> I yeah. like that. Dr Dr Jason Todd. Sure. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. I like that better. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, I like, oh. yeah. can I just oh. say maybe an unpopular choice, but I would have Groot as my best Groot. friend. Groot, the tree man. Yeah. From Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a that's a good friend. He would die yeah. for you. He would die. Hold for on. Me. So you're. I'd be like Rocket Raccoon. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? Can't unsee. All right, perfect. All right, pick a final topic. Let's get out of here, Mon. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go this one. <laughs> Cowbell. All right, why 8-bit? Not a question. Why 8-bit? Says, what are some of your pet peeves? I hate it when people don't close the toothpaste tube. So you d say a pet... Peeve. Pe pet peeves. But pet, you say something else. Pet hate? What's your pet? Why would you Yeah, hate? what did I say? Pet hates. Pet hate? Yeah. Mm. Is that something you guys do too? Or no. is that just an Australia no. thing? What do you pet hate? I think uh, we say both. Pet right? peeve, pet, pet hate. Pet hate. I've never heard pet hate until you came into the office. It was, wasn't mom. it? I said you said pet hate. hate. Yeah. Huh. Pet no, peeves. We're just peeves. peeves. No, Australians hate. What's something, yeah, like leaving the to <laughs> toothpaste off, like not squeezing the toothpaste from the bottom? Like Why what? don't uh. Americans say thank you when you let them in the lane? Because we're assholes. What? Straight up. <laughs> I just said it. I just said it. I'm an American. I have every right to go into a lane. <laughs> <laughs> and I even do the, no worries. You're welcome. It's, and then I'm in a car That's a bit of a generalization, though, because oh. I try to be nice. And I also, also, you know what? Oh, ah, here's my pet peeve. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Use your goddamn turn signal. Indicator. Use it! It's, it's there for a reason. It's so that, oh, you just get angry. Do you a blinker? No, indicator. Damn. No, indicator. Turn on the oh, indica a bit lower. indicator, blinker, arrow, whatever you call it. Turn it on! Use it if you're going to turn, damn it! And then thank the person wow. once you've done so it. You got that out there. I'm so sorry. It's just it. Yeah. It's just it eats me up, man. Mm -hmm. It's your pet peeve. I'm, it's my pet peeve. Yeah. yeah. A big one for me is uh, so in the uh, I is it I think it's more of a European thing or maybe it's just like a British thing. I don't know. But queuing, queuing is a big thing for us, and uh, I can get really, really. Uh, annoyed when people push in line. Like you've been waiting in this line patiently, and it's an it's, etiquette thing. It's it's totally an etiquette thing, and when people push in line, that's just not cool. So you're talking about cutting when Cut. someone cuts right in front yeah, of you, yeah, or yeah. like someone's like friend is like, oh come push on man, it. come on, let's go. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. like it. Even that, I mean, I don't mind the friend thing. It's more just kind of being like, I'm just gonna put myself at the front of this. Wow, queue. do people do that? Yeah, they totally do that. Yeah, and and, and it. it Pisses me yeah, off. That's bad. Yeah, you said that's it. bad. Yeah, I said it. Mm -hmm. It's so you put it out there, guys. Stop messing with those cues. Stop lines. cutting in line. Stop that, cutting. It, that's an American thing to say. Stop cutting in line. Yeah, but yeah. It's, a, it's a British Stop thing. Stop jumping the queue. And the worst thing is because because we're British, we don't say anything about it. Yeah, just like, just <laughs> you like, just internalize it's chaos. it. So you just kind of like you're just standing there like. <laughs> I would say something about this. I, I think totally you're saying it right now, though, and I think that's a I'm totally big major right step. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm proud of you, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next British. time someone comes in line, cuts in line, I am going <laughs> to kill them. You know what you should do? Instead, don't say a word, just link them to this video. Yeah. And be like, watch that, and yeah. you'll know. Hey, buddy, watch this. Just hold <laughs> it in front of When you get yeah. home, oh, or just now. <laughs> and stare at them while I watch wait, it, too. Wait for 19 minutes in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we can't skip. Yeah. You gotta watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. All right, what you about you, Pepe? Oh, I even. Pepe. Pet peeve. 
Um, <laughs> I, even I, even English people try and do Australian accents to my face. Pet peeve. Pet peeve. It's only when it's something that sounds so cool like that. No. 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 There's no R and no. Why should I stop it now? There is no. Sound like this. Can you even tell the difference between? Hey, the that's racist. Accents? You totally can. That is super racist. Yeah. <laughs> I like, am. What is that? <laughs> what did I do? What was that? What did I do? It was like. I don't know. But I'm that was really good. I like it. You Sorry, pet peeves. Mm. I'm trying to think. I, I'm drawing a blank. You don't I, get annoyed very easily. I meditate too much. Yeah. I'm, I, that way, but that's not a pet peeve. Oh, we said masturbate wrong. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> do it. What? You no, it's, it? I think it's a. Uh, what do you call it over here? Uh, jerking off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's meditation. <laughs> oh, that, that, that is what it is. That's what <laughs> why is that two guys? Double. Just with yourself. Double. Why? Double. 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 Why is that two guys <laughs> <laughs> jerking towards your arms? <laughs> I think we should end on that note. Oh, that's yeah. really good. I'm glad that feel good to get out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> guys, you hate it, but you can't stop doing it. No, yeah. Guys, this is so great. What a fun table talk. I've had and fun. Uh, much to the chagrin of DJ, I'm so sorry if we went on a little longer than you would have liked, DJ, but I hate you. So we're going to just go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> guys, uh, thank you to PJ and Chris for joining us, Crab Sticks and Kick the PJ. Guys, one more plug for uh, Oscars Hotel. Yeah. When does it come out? Tell you know, give us the give us the goods. Where can okay. we stalk it? So on Vimeo on demand on September fifteenth, you can. <laughs> I should say. <laughs> 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 I'm I'm reverse it. it. On September fifteenth, Vimeo on demand is the place to go because we're going to be releasing Oscar's Hotel for Fantastical Creatures, and it is it's a mind blowing series about this guy. Yeah, I'm in it. Doing crazy things with lots of crazy creatures. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's insane. I and there's can't an Instagram, wait. Twitter, all mm. that jazz. They're should be. <laughs> but they can follow your guys' Instagrams yeah, and Twitters yeah. and such, yeah. right? And follow because I've been following your stuff that you've been posting. I'm posting a lot of lot of cool creatures. Yeah, like yeah. You, you, he has a lot of cool behind the scenes videos and stuff that he's been posting on the set and such. Mm -hmm. And you as well. I, I was doing daily videos yeah. while I, just to try and capture everything. And then as soon as I finished Oscar's Hotel, I stopped. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. daily vlogging is it's pure hell. It's yeah. bad news, man. Because especially when you're not doing something as cool as Oscar's Hotel. Like, what yeah. are you going to vlog about? <laughs> yeah. I'm about to make <laughs> eggs. Here we go. Yeah, it, just, it doesn't work. Say yeah. eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict. Can you do it, <laughs> can you do it like Matt Barry, like you were doing earlier? Eggs Benedict. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, That's really <laughs> hey, let's. Get, why don't you guys get Matt Barry on Oscars? Hotel? I think we tried. Yeah, didn't we? we tried. Damn it! Yeah, he's Tried busy. Oh, I love he's it. a busy man with I'm a big sure voice. He is. Yeah, yeah. that voice, man. Mm. He's got like a that. He's one of those guys where like those voices. They they have like unique voices. Is he yeah. better than Michael Caine? Because Michael Caine sounds like this. That's Michael actually good, Kane. Michael Caine. Michael Kane. That is pretty. Good. The Lamborghini Michael dead. Kane. I to blow the bloody doors off. Okay, I've lost well, it. that was Australian. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching Table Woo! Talk, and thank you so much to our special guests. I can't wait to watch Oscars Hotel. Uh, guys, just please go see it and check it out. Or check it out. And also, links in the description and all sorts of fun info and things. And follow these guys on the other stuff they do as well. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. So awesome. Can't wait to see what you guys are doing next. Thanks, my Thank favorite. You. And uh, season two, three, four, five, six, seven, Whoa, eight, so nine, down. ten. <laughs> wow. In a movie. And a movie. Uh -huh. Yeah, here's hoping, right? Yeah. It's five in a movie, isn't it? Yeah. Six. That's well, six you know what? Let's break it. Seven seasons in a movie. How about that? Let's Boom. do it. Dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. And a show. Do you guys know what that is? Dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. <laughs> uh, you are done here, Maude. No one knows what dinner and a show is! I, I think I do, but I can't remember. It's just and a show. Get, get. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching <laughs> Table Talk, and like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. And thanks very much for our special Yay. guest. Yay! Bye. <laughs> That's exactly why you're my new assistant. Oliver! <laughs> this is it. Work. Lemonade. <gasps> I am such a meathead. <laughs> Who do you think they'll get to play us? Even though this place has totally kicked my ass, it has really opened my eyes. You could not have done it without me. <laughs>